taking an evening walk. like a bag of chips and a few cookies. Hi hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new vlog, specifically a new diet vlog. It's been a long time since I did one of these videos. Back when I was in college, I would film vlogs like this all the time they were so fun and i want to do more but let me know if you guys like this style of video maybe like a couple times a month i can't remember if i mentioned this in a recent video or not so i'm just going to mention it in this video but i have decided to kind of like book a like a studio fitness photo shoot they're really popular in korea kind of like a body profile picture i'll put some examples on the screen right now so you know my gist but basically like I've been doing PT for seven months now and I'm really proud of the changes I've seen in my body just from doing PT but I'm not completely happy with my abdominal area I'm very happy with my shoulders my arms my legs but I just feel like I don't have like the the ab shape I want so I talked to my trainer and basically I need to really focus the next month on my um, abdominal area and a lot of that is going to be dictated over what I'm eating and the you know the exercises I'm doing so I'm just gonna kind of like document this process over the next few weeks my photo shoot is at the end of this month so I'm kind of going like hardcore this month and then I'm gonna just try and of course continue healthy habits after my shoot because I don't want to do like yo-yo dieting or anything like that even though I say like oh I'm dieting it really doesn't feel like it because I've been eating a lot Lot of these foods since I started PT um, so it's not like I'm starting like a whole new like diet palette you know that I'm eating it's just that I am now not eating snacks and I'm not eating out like I have been doing this summer which by the way I don't regret any of that I've had so much fun this summer like eating out and having snacks on the beach and stuff but this month specifically I'm just kind of cracking down I could honestly talk and talk and talk about how my viewpoint on like fitness and everything has changed in the past year. I've had I have such a more healthy relationship with my body and with food now more than ever before actually. So um yeah if you have any questions that you would want me to like answer in a future diet vlog comment that below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just gonna be a mashup of a bunch of snippets of my life from trying to do this whole flat tummy Thing for my photo shoot at the end of this month. Okay, but anyways, I actually just got a package, so I thought I would start the video off by bringing that in. Yay! So I ordered almond milk. It's been a long time since I've actually had a stock of this in my house. Okay, I'm so excited to have all of this almond milk. So um, if I'm ever having like a craving for a milkshake or something this month, I've just been drinking almond milk. It completely satisfies it and I get the protein one. Um, I'm really focusing like on building muscle. So I have to make sure I'm eating a lot of protein. You'll notice that in all my meals. I always have like a big protein. So yeah, I'm just gonna have one of these as a little protein snack right now. Yay! And I tried to find like the big cartons because I'm trying to be eco-friendly, but they don't have those online. So I had to get the mini ones. But these are nice because I can take them on the go with me and have one as a snack like right after I work out. Okay, so while we're here, I just wanted to talk about like, I guess the other, like the liquid situation, because I feel like when you are trying to have a healthy diet, a lot of us forget that if you're drinking stuff like sodas and like heavy milkshakes all the time, those are not really good for you. So I actually had a little bit of a soda addiction this summer. I was always craving cola, like every day in July, I wanted to drink a cola and, um, just i cut it cold turkey like at the beginning of august i was like nope soda is going to be your worst enemy for this challenge you're doing yourself so just cut it out so i have cut soda out and then i recently discovered at starbucks this cold brew vanilla cream latte i fell in love with it and then i found out that actually the convenience store sells it so i can get it a little bit cheaper at the convenience store this is it. So yeah, this is the cold brew vanilla cream and I will have a cup of this in the morning Which is like half the bottle and then I'll just save it and throughout the day I've just been like sipping on it because I love this 
I get so much joy from drinking this in the morning, so I'm so glad I discovered this. This is like hands down the best coffee drink I think I've ever tried. And um, then besides that, I just drink a ton of water. Like I'm really trying to make sure I drink two of these every day. So like one by like 2 p.m. And then from 2 p.m. I'll start like a new one usually. And by the way, guys, this stuff is like all of I'm just at home if i'm out and about i'm probably not going to be able to drink two of these like in a day if i'm just like out but if i'm at home these are like the rules i've been trying to follow So I am getting ready to go to bed now and I thought I would just pop in here and do a little bit of skincare Even though this is a health vlog I always like to just include little skincare segments in my videos because I know how overwhelming it can be to find new skincare So I like to share that with you guys. I hope you don't mind um, So there are two products that I have been using Consistently this summer and I'm really excited to finally share them with you um, These products are both from April skin Here's the other one. I already did my face washing and I already applied my toner. And I'm really, really excited because April Skin is being super generous and every month on my channel, I'm going to be doing a giveaway with them. So five lucky winners uh, in this video can win these two products. Stick around a little longer, I'll tell you how. Um, but the first product I wanna share with you guys is their Calendula 10% PHA plus AHA resurfacing serum. So to put it simply, this is an exfoliating serum. So if you are someone that sometimes gets those small random like texture bumps kind of on your skin, this is something that's really going to help exfoliate them out. It's the Calendula flower extract and the hyaluronic acid that is actually going to do all the work for you with this. For me personally, something that I always struggle with when it comes to trying new serums is whether or not they're suitable to use in the morning before makeup. Because obviously, if you're putting a serum on at night, you're not going to be putting any makeup on, so you don't have to worry about makeup application. But what I love so much about this serum is it works really well under makeup pre-makeup application um, and this is just like the most perfect formula I don't like sticky and super thick serums but I don't like serums that are just like water and this is honestly a perfect like medium right in the middle I'm gonna put it on right now I can honestly tell a difference from when I use this serum on my face versus when I don't especially when I wake up because when you wake up I feel like that's when you really notice how your skin is looking so I'm just going to lightly apply it and I usually just do like one or two small pumps and I love this stuff so much I actually have a bottle here at my boyfriend's house and I have a bottle at my house because if I go one night without using it I freak out a little bit really absorbs into the skin quite easily if you end up trying this out i really recommend that you guys start with just using a small amount at night because with serums you never really know if they're going to match well with your skin or not so start by using just a little bit at night and then if it works well you can incorporate it into your morning routine that's what i always do when i try out a new serum another product that i have used several jars of is this so this is the april skin hydra gel cream so i started using this back in May. It was like right when summer was starting. And I remember I was really nervous because if you've watched my vlogs for a while, I was using the same balm for over a year. So I was really kind of hesitant about switching up my moisturizer or my balm. And I ended up just like taking a little risk and I started using this. And I swear to you guys, I have not used a different moisturizer besides this one all summer. I love it so so much so this is what it looks like it comes in a nice big jar i've already used about half of this jar the best way for me to describe this moisturizer is it is a weightless watery gel 
moisturizer so as you can see it just goes on very smooth it's definitely not like a super thick moisturizer it is very very light do you see how easily it blends If you guys like to use jade rollers, you can also apply this with a jade roller. I don't have mine here tonight, but next month I'll definitely show you guys in the vlog how I use my jade roller with this. I know some people love really long, in-depth skincare routines. I'm the opposite. I'm like super quick, go, 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 on the go type of girl. So for me, when I'm looking for a moisturizer, I want something that's going to quickly absorb into my skin. And this definitely does just that. You just have to follow both April Skin and I on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and then leave a comment below. And just make sure you include your Instagram handle so I can check if you're following us. And I'll put the details about when this giveaway ends down in the description. But good luck to everyone. I hope you guys get the chance to try these out. And if you want to browse more of April Skin's products, I'm gonna leave their link down in the description. I really, really recommend you guys try some of these out, especially Especially if you have sensitive skin like me, um, these have been working out really, really well. And I can't wait to see how many more jars of this and bottles of this I use. All right, hello guys. I just came for an evening editing sesh. I'm actually in like the lobby of a hotel near where I live. And there's a cafe connected to it and there's like this seating out here and it's always super empty and it's just it's a vibe there's like plants and really pretty lights and it's quiet right now which is great it's also like a rainy sunday evening so it's really quiet in here which is nice um but i wanted to show you what i got to drink i got an iced earl gray tea i honestly love getting like caramel mochas and lattes and all that good stuff um, but I just know that I feel best if in the evening I drink something without milk. I like my latte in the morning. I do love it, but I'm just better off if I have like teas or something, especially because it's late. It's like almost nine o'clock. So side note, I literally have no idea what time anything closes right now because in Korea, the different like social distancing levels keep changing. And I think it's at three right now, but I heard today that it's going to four like later this week so i don't really know what time i have to leave here or if i have to because it's like a hotel lobby so like it's not like a restaurant So I just finished my workout and I'm coming to Olive Young. I want to get this like detox drink kind of that I tried a few months ago and I really liked it. So here is the area with all the little um, like drinks and these aren't just all detox. Some of these are just like health drinks and they also have like some of their supplements and stuff over here. This 
so it is about five o'clock and I'm taking an evening walk. If I'm home at this time, I always try to get outside um, just because it's such a beautiful time of day. The sun feels great at this time. It's a weekday, so there's not that many people out, which is nice. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not always home at this time to do this, but if I have the time to be active, like, I'm gonna do it. Perkin? Yeah. 이름은 Hurricane Very Professional <laughs> Size is way up. Size is 9 9 feet? Damn! Look at that. There's a spack here. Okay. Oh, the specs. Yeah, length. Oh, <gasps> Holy f***. is a black coffee type of day if you know what I mean um hi it is currently Tuesday morning and I just wanted to pop in for this vlog so yesterday I ended up surfing for like five hours or something like that and it was actually like the biggest waves of my life they were like huge there's like typhoons kind of rolling in and out of Busan right now so that means that the waves are really big you're not even allowed to just like swim you can only go in there if you're surfing so that was kind of crazy and there's a lot of exercise so I was just really glad that I could go have fun and exercise at the same time my arms are definitely a little bit sore today but yeah I'm actually going to do some more surfing today the waves are still great it's a great form of exercise for me I love being out in the water and I can hang out with some of my friends out there. But I'm gonna go ahead, I just walked to Cleo for like an hour. So that felt really good. It's a little bit sunny right now, which is great. Um, and now I'm gonna do my ab exercise. I'm just trying to stay in this routine. I honestly, I hate doing ab exercises. Like nothing about it appeals to me, except for the results, obviously. So at this point, I just can't even think about it. Like I literally just don't let my emotions tap into what I wanna do. Something my PT always says to me is that it's like a mind game when you think you can't really like do something as simple as like an app workout. You know, it's a it's literally a mind game. So I'm just not listening to my mind um, and I'm just going to get my mat out, do my workout. And then after that, I'm going to have some breakfast. I have not eaten yet. And um, then we are going to head over to Songdong Beach. So let's make this a good day. I'm also really happy because my skin, <sighs> I'm not wearing makeup. I'm so happy my skin is doing really well right now, which is always like a great feeling I'm sure it has something to do with like how I've been exercising a lot and eating healthy and stuff and using good skincare products And drinking ton of water. Wow, it's funny how when you just combine all of those suddenly your skin clears up
Hi guys, so I am coming at you right now from my boyfriend's new house. I don't think I've filmed in this place yet in this vlog. I did do like a whole moving vlog kind of with him. So um, I didn't move, he just moved, just to clarify. Um, but if you wanna see that video, I will have it linked below. Anyways, uh, it's been a few days since I've checked in. So I just wanted to update you on the past few days. So my friend Shannon ended up coming down to Busan from Seoul. Funnily enough, she's also kind of dieting similarly to me. Um, so that worked out really well. The two of us, we would wake up, we would do our ab workouts, we would do like a middle of the day workout on the beach, and then we didn't do any at night because we ended up like being too tired at night. But we did something and it made me feel so good that she was able to come for a few days and I didn't feel like I went off track because I feel like that can sometimes happen when you hang out with friends. And um, when we went out, we just like ordered vodka sodas. So we tried to order like super diet friendly drinks. If you didn't know, like the really sugary drinks and beer and stuff like that, it's super calorie dense. So we just tried to find the better options while still having fun. And I don't regret any of that. Um, anyways, it's currently Wednesday and I'm about to make myself a dinner. I did want to mention something. I kind of felt a little bit of guilt earlier today because I had a couple of snacks. And like, I know that sounds crazy, but when I say snacks, I mean like processed snacks. Stuff like this, you know what I mean? I had like a bag of chips and a few cookies. And that's just something I haven't really, like I really don't want to be doing. Especially because my body profile pic is literally in like a little over a week. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it now. So, I mean, I just, I've been drinking a ton of water today and stuff like that. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I don't want to seem like I'm perfect and that I'm like perfectly dieting and that I'm not having any of these moments that I don't feel kind of like stressed out or anxious and stuff. And I really did feel very anxious after eating all those snacks earlier. It wasn't even that much, but it felt like a lot just because I haven't been eating any of that. Um, but it's okay. I think it's better that I ate it in the middle of the day instead of the end of the day because I probably won't wake up feeling super bloated tomorrow because I've been drinking a ton of water after that. But we're going to make ourselves a nice little dinner and I just wanted to document it. Um, we're going to do kind of like an, a vegetable omelet. I actually don't know how to make omelets, so we'll see if this turns out as an omelet or just like a vegetable scramble. Um, pro tip, if you're like on a budget and you don't want to buy a bunch of food, eggs mushrooms and peppers you can literally eat those breakfast lunch and dinner in so many different variations and you won't get bored of them for a long time like i had that exact thing last night so lately i usually just do boiled eggs but i'm going to be doing kind of like fried tonight or just like with a little bit of oil so yeah let's get started because it's just me tonight i'm just going to do half of this mushroom And also just half of this pepper. Okay, it just kind of turned into a like two halves of an omelet, but here it is. Super, super easy. Got your veggies, got your protein. Mm. Oh, look. Look who wants some. Good 
Good morning, everyone. So this is my breakfast. I'm out of eggs this morning, and I'm not really craving chicken at all. So this is my protein. I'm just having two of these. And yeah, it should be a good day. I'm just trying to make this a habit of always having a breakfast that is going to fill me up and, you know, prevent me from snacking or craving or anything like that um, until I have my lunch. All right guys, so I am currently at my workspace of the day. This is actually a cafe inside of a hotel that I stayed at over a year ago. It's in my neighborhood, Bonnelly, and um, you can like stay at the hotel, but you can also pay like about $8 and you can have like unlimited coffee, tea, they have snacks and stuff. I'll show you guys down there later when I go back for another tea. But yeah, I'm just sipping on my tea. I've got my computer out here. I'm gonna start coming here more because it's the vibes are so bright and like open in here. I mean, I'm gonna turn you around. Take a look at that. Anyways, I'm just working on some editing. I'm really hoping that I can like edit fully a few vlogs today because my friend is coming to town tomorrow. So uh, I'm not trying to edit while she's here. So I'm gonna try to have a really productive Friday. I didn't give this video a proper ending, so I'm just hopping on right now to do that. Um, this, like, all of these clips were actually filmed quite a long time ago. I already took my photo and everything, um, but I ended up vlogging a lot more closer to the shoot. So I'm gonna do a part two to this video, and also I kind of want to do like a Q and A video where I just sit down and I answer like questions if you guys have any. So. I would really appreciate it if like there's a question you have or some like a topic you want me to talk about in that um, diet video, just leave it below and I will try my best to cover it in the sit down Q&A that I do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's been a it's been a ride, a wild ride, that's for sure. Um, but I love you guys and I'll see you very soon in my next vlog. Bye.